Hey everyone, it's Justenia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I wanted to share with you my storage and organization for my stickers and planners and craft type supplies. So this is just an overview shot of the wall that I keep all of these things contained in. And I just wanted to have a little background so that when we get into closer up, you kind of know what I'm getting into and, and what it sort of looks like. So I do have an older video on my storage system and to be quite honest, a lot is very similar, but it's just sort of expanded quite a bit and grown over time. I mean, that video was, I think, less than a year into planning and now it's been over two years, I think, that I've been planning. Ugh, I don't even remember. But since then, I've gotten more into traveler's notebooks, which means I've collected more of those. I've also gotten into having more things to make stuff for my traveler's notebooks. So my collection has definitely grown over time. And so my, you know, my storage has changed a little bit with that. And to preface this, I did want to also kind of say the give a little reasoning as to why I have my setup the way it is. I did intentionally choose pieces that were white and, you know, that would blend into the walls because I really wanted something that I like to work with a blank canvas, if that makes sense. So in my in my space, I really like to have everything kind of white or just neutral and kind of blend into nothing so that when I'm working on a project, I don't have any distractions. Whatever I'm working on has a blank canvas to start off on and what I'm working on kind of creates the color in my space. So that's sort of the theory behind that. And also I just don't like things to look cluttered. So I really like to keep things kind of behind closed doors, but have them really easily accessible. So that's kind of the theory behind that. If you are wondering, both of these white pieces, the top shelf and then the bottom table are from Ikea. I don't believe they have either of these pieces in stock anymore. I believe they're both discontinued. It's, I've had these for quite some time. But the top piece was intended for media storage, so I do think they have similar items in that section if you want to take a look around. I do want to preface this video as well by saying that I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to share with you all what my storage system is. I have been requested this video so, so much, and I know a lot of you like to see what's inside of everything as well. So I am gonna, it's gonna turn into a little bit of a collection video as well, so you'll see all of my stuff. But um, I know I'm very lucky to have everything that I have, and I'm so grateful because I love planning and crafting. This is honestly just my favorite thing that I've ever gotten into. So I am excited to share this with you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open this top storage section, that shelf thing, so you guys can see what it looks like inside and we can jump into the video. So that's what the inside looks like. As you can see, I have a lot of clear drawers. Those are all from the container store. I love them so much. They have lasted so well for me. I've had most of them for a number of years and then I've since purchased a few more. I know you can get cheaper versions from other places. I know Muji also sells really great ones, so don't have to go to the container store, but those are the ones that I have. They're just clear acrylic drawers. I will also do my best to link whatever I can find down in the description box down below, so you can check that out if you want. But that is the overview. I do have a few binders and things that we'll get into in just a second, but I want to start from top down. So we'll start with the top, what's on top of the shelf and then get into it and kind of work our way down this wall. But hopefully that is helpful. So up at the very top part of that shelf, I do have some books stacked up there on the side. I just leave them there. And then to the right of that, I've got all of my planners stacked up here or lined up here. I do have a 1A5 that I still have kept because I love it. It's so beautiful. It's a Kiki K and I'll probably use it for recipes going forward because I just can't part with it. I think it's so pretty. And then I do have a few Foxy Fixes and some other TNs, so I'll go through them real quick. I have a Salt from Foxy Fix, a Pelodori, a Foxy Fix Sugar Mochi, that's a Ballerina Lush, a Lush Stardust, a Boss Babe Moonlit, the Sugar Cookie, the Lush Cosmos, and a Pelodori. Goodness. And then inside of those, I do have a couple sort of hidden just in two of them. So that is my Pelodori. It's an A6. And then inside of it, I do have this Rowena Foxy Fix, and that's a pocket size. I do that just because... I don't know, I feel like it gets much with them all lined up and some of the colors are a little bit darker than others and I don't like the way it looks on the shelf so I just sort of hide them uh, to condense space and then also just like that, uh, just to, to keep the colors 
I don't know how I like to see them out. So yeah, and then I just have a few other little bits on the other side of the shelf, some artwork and my little watering can for my plant. So this is the inside of the storage unit and to the far right I have, I think what they're called are letter organizers and that one is just all white so it blends into the shelving unit which I like. And I just keep in there what I call hoarder kits and those are essentially kits that I haven't assigned a week yet and they're just kits that I'm saving for something that might come up in the future. So say there's a kit for Disneyland that came out and I love the art and how the shop interpreted it so I picked it up but I don't necessarily have plans to go anytime soon so I'm just saving it for when I do. Kits like that. And then next to it I have my Erin Condren Life Planner which is my memory planner and then I have a couple of binders sitting next to it. I know I've mentioned before that I don't love binders for sticker organization and I still stand by that as far as all the rest of my stickers, which I'll get into that a little bit more later. But for kits, I have loved this system. I started using it at the beginning of this year and it has been really, really functional for me. So I will get into it. These are Avery, I think they're the Avery mini binders. I will go ahead and link them down in the description box below so you guys can pick them up and I have like clear sleeves to go inside of them. So let's go ahead and get into that. So this is what the binders look like. I did go ahead and decorate the front, back, and sides of them. I just made myself these little bow clips and foiled them and I stuck the sleeve in the front pocket and I made a sticker for the spine and I, I put the pattern on the back of the, the binder as well and I think it turned out really, really cute. It's just fun and it keeps it all really pretty. I did go ahead and do this one with a white background so that I could tell the difference between this one and my memory planner one really easily with the difference in the background colors. So that's what that looks like. And then let's go ahead and get inside of it. So I do have these clear plastic sleeves. These are, I think I got them from Target. And then as you can see in the corner, I've got this sticker. Those are from Scroll Prints Co. Andrea came out with these at the beginning of the year. And I think it is genius. They kind of categorize all the weeks of the year. And so you can organize your kits in here. You just stick them on the sleeves and then you can put your kits according to what week you want to use them. It helps keep you organized. You've got all your kits in one place. And also it helps you kind of see where you have gaps missing, where you might, you know, need, need a kit or, you know, you can see, oh my gosh, I already have five summer kits. There's no way I could fit another one in my planner. I shouldn't buy anymore. So this is really nice for that. It's a great visual and it's a good way to keep all of your kits organized. So that's just a quick little flip through. I won't go through the whole thing, but it's just a few kits that I've got kind of lined up for the next few weeks. It does change all the time. Sometimes I'll rearrange them, but that's what that looks like. So that's my B6 planner binder. And then the second binder I have is for my memory planner. So as you can see, it's got the same little front on there that I put on my B6 one. It just has a pink background. I've been kind of foiling and making everything pink in, in this space and I think it looks really cute. So I love the, the way, love the way these look decorated because the plain white is so boring. So that's what that looks like on the outside and then getting into this one, it's the same, same deal. I haven't started memory planning for this year. I've got it all kind of jotted down in note form, but I haven't put the stickers down. So this one is definitely full from the start of the year. I've got a few things in the folder there and I've just kind of got all of my kits laid out. So that's just a quick little overview. Nothing fancy, just kind of got it all organized and such. So moving over into the first set of drawers here, these are the clear acrylic drawers that I was talking about earlier. And this first little set here has all of my planner clips. I have since gotten really into planner clips. I didn't start out loving them when I first started planning, but since my traveler's notebook, my obsession has grown. So I've got them all organized in here. And I do have these little trays on top of every drawer set. So I will go through that as well. So this is the clear drawer set and this is the bottom most drawer. This drawer looks like a mess and it looks like it has no rhyme or reason to it, but I promise you it's compartmentalized and it does make sense, at least to me. And these are all kind of the smaller scraggly paper clips, not scraggly, but just like the smaller ones that don't really take up a lot of space. So on the left side, I've got all of my peach palms there. And I do have some smaller little ones from Hello Simple Paper. 
these little guys with the little gem kind of things on top. And then I do have just some random things in there. Some metal paper clips. These are the ones that kind of just have shapes to them and scripts. So those types all in that little corner. And then in the back, I do have all of my wider K&Co XOXO paper clips. I love those to use as page markers or just for anything. So I've got all of those in there as well. So that's the bottom drawer. Just going to pop that back in and then we can go through the next drawer here. So in this one, I've got a lot of my paper made paper clips. So these are the ones that are made out of the cutout papers. A lot of these are from the Creative B and I think they're really cute. I just kind of put them all in the section. That one that I'm pointing out is from the Planner Society and then these letter ones are just older ones from Paper Princess when she used to sell those in her shop. And then on the right hand side, I've got a lot of Christmas type ones. So I've got these felt ones. I think they're from Katie Jo Collections. And then I've got some little, those are charms. This is like clips and charms, I guess I should say. So these are little jingle bells. Those are from Hello Simple Paper. She had those during the holidays and I thought they were really cute. So I've got a Christmas section and just a little paper paper clip section in there. And then the middle drawer here is all of my felt clips. And I would say 99.9% .9 of this drawer is all pigtails and pockets. Her clips are super cute and they're really well made. So they're just these cute little felt clips there. The only one I think that's not from her is this little one from the Fox and Pip, which is just a little laminated clip that she did for me out of one of the customs she drew for me quite some time ago. But yeah, that's my little felt clip drawer there. Then the next drawer has all of my flowers. So I did this more by category. I've got all my fur and use swag little things and charms on the right hand side there. Then I've got a lot of fur and you clips and these plastic ones are from K&Co XOXO. So if I ever want a flower or rose, I've got a whole drawer full of them for that. This one is kind of outgrowing itself. So I might have to figure out something different. I might move some of my fur and you swag clips out of the way because those are the ones that take up a lot of space. As you can see, I'm like, get in there. <laughs> Then the topmost drawer is one of my favorites. It's got all of my bow clips. So again, this one's more by category as far as you know type. I've got roses and bows at the top. So on the left side, those are all by K&Co XOXO. And then I do have some of the felt ones. Those are all from Pigtails and Pockets. And then these paper ones are from the Creative B. And then in this tray that I had above the drawers, I've got all of my Foxy Fix elastics. So these are either restrap kits or jump bands, any sort of elastics that I have for Foxy Fix. And they're all organized in these little pouches that you get from them when they come. And I've kind of got them all by color and they're just kind of stacked on top of each other as you see them. And then on the right hand side, I've got all of my post-its or sticky notes. I don't use sticky notes a ton, so I just keep some of my favorites and the rest of them I kind of just give to friends and my mom loves sticky notes, so I usually give a lot to her, but I keep some of my favorites here. And So moving into the next set of drawers, this entire drawer little section is just for traveler's notebook things, so acetate, dashboard type things like journaling cards and die cuts, all that sort of jazz is all in this little section. So in this set of drawers, I'm going to start out at the bottom and this bottom drawer just has lots of acetate and vellum. A lot of it is stuff I've printed myself. I keep some things from old setups in here or things that maybe a friend has sent me or stuff I've purchased. Things that have kind of already been made into a dashboard have been used and kind of set to go. So that is that, that's like old for my Christmas setup and, and whatnot. So that's that drawer. And then the drawer above it is kind of a continuation of it. It's pretty much all the same types of things, just a whole bunch of those. And then above that, I do keep a lot of like journaling cards, I guess. I call this drawer dashboards, but it's pretty much all journaling cards, stuff from orders that you get or just cute things and postcards that you get. So I've kept them all in here. Any of the ones that I think are really pretty and I know I might use, I just stick them in here so I can pull from them as I need them if I ever want to use them in a setup. Then above that, I do have kind of a few different things in this drawer. 
and I'll go through in a second. These envelopes are actually from my newest addiction orders that I just saved because I like them and I use them in here. But at the very bottom of this drawer, I have some more decorative sticker sheets. So these are some from the Sweet Planner. I have some other ones in here as well. And they're sticker sheets that I just think are really pretty. And, you know, when I buy them, I buy them with the intention of using them in maybe a traveler's notebook pocket just to kind of decorate with as opposed to actually using the stickers. I know that might sound weird to some people, but if you are a Traveler's Notebook user, you know what I mean. Then that's just a little washi sample card that I don't know what to do with. Some Simply Gilded stickers that I feel like I might use. I wanted to use those in an Easter setup, but I never got around to it. So I just have those in there. And then these envelopes, I've got some of those Target pockets in one of them. I just got a few. And then in the second one, I've got a bunch of tabs and divider type things. So I've got some from the Fox and Pip. I've got some in the front from the Scroll Prints Co. TN kits, and yeah, I just keep them all in there so they're all contained. And that's what goes in that drawer. And then the very top drawer is called Art Prints, and in there I've got a lot of Holly Nichols. It's majority Holly Nichols, and then I have a few other artists in there as well, but I just keep all of her prints. I buy the five by six and, sorry, five by seven and the four by six cards from her depending on what uh, TN I'm gonna use them for, but they're really beautiful to decorate with, so I just keep them all together in a drawer system there. So in the tray above those clear drawers, I do have all of my die cuts. I have the little label on the front there, and to be quite honest, I just sort of dump them all in this tray. I still have a lot of space in this tray to add a ton more. I know a lot of people do organize their die cuts into categories similar to how you would stickers and other things but to be quite honest I don't have enough to actually do categories yet so maybe if this this collection grows I might start organizing it differently but for now I don't feel like I have enough so I just sort of dump them all in here and it works perfectly fine for me. So moving over to the left hand side of the storage unit I have three more sets of these acrylic drawers. They are all labeled and I'll show you a close up in a little bit but they are categorized and I do part of them by shop. So shops that I use a lot of their functional stickers. So My Newest Addiction, Now Magic Prints Co. I've got a lot of Simply Watercolor Co., Rose Colored Days, Clever Yale Crafts, Fox and Pip. Those shops have their own little categories and then everything else has more of a broader category like headers, date covers, things like that. So that's kind of how that works. It's a little bit of a combo depending on how you know, my brain no searches for stickers. So that's kind of how I organize those. And I'll talk a little bit about why I decided to use drawers as well instead of binders. I think binders are great. I know a lot of people also use accordion files to organize like character stickers and things like that, little albums and stuff. And I think with those, what's really amazing about that type of storage system is that you can really get super detailed and really categorize everything to down to the T, you know? whereas mine are a little bit more broad. But for me, I know personally, if something isn't easy for me to put away, and if something gets too complicated, then I tend to just get annoyed with it and I don't wanna put stuff away. So then I end up accumulating piles of things and I never wanna actually organize it back into the system. So for me, when I create a system for organizing and keeping storage, I just need it to be super easy and very simple so that when it comes time to clean up and put everything away, I can kind of just shove it into its place and it doesn't take a lot of thought or effort. <laughs> I know that might sound lazy, but in order for me to maintain my, my organization, I just need something simple like that. So these drawers work really, really well for me. Like I said, if you know, everybody's totally different on how they organize and how they how is best for you to maintain it or use it. So whatever works for you, but that's why I chose personally to use um, this sort of system. And I absolutely love it. I've been using it for two years now and it's worked really, really well for me. So let's show you a close up of the labels here. I made these myself. I love them. I just cut them out with my silhouette and foiled them. I think they're super cute and yeah. Let's go ahead and just get into the drawers. Oh, I guess before I do, I should share with you the top little trays. I won't go into them, but I've got leftover stickers on the first two. So anything leftover from kits that I feel like I want to save, I just kind of toss them in there. 
And then the last one on the far left is just markers. I've got a bunch of Copic markers in there that I just keep and then I've got some undo in the corner there. But let's go ahead and get into the drawers. So in the first set of drawers here, I'm going to start out with the top and here I've called this foiled and I have sort of just a lot of random foiled sheets in here. They're not really random, but they all just kind of fit this size sticker sheet and I didn't want to cut them down. So that's what this section sort of is, is a lot of white deer stationery icons. These are from Planning World. I've got some rose color days in here where they didn't really fit in the other sections and I didn't want to trim them down. So I just sort of put them all in this one little drawer here. And then the rest of this unit is all separated by shops. So I've got here Sessa V on the left and I have Clever Gal Crafts on the right hand side. I feel like this unit is a good example of some of my favorite shops, but at the same time it is missing some because there are some shops like say Scribble Prince Co where I mostly buy kits from. And these are more shops that I have I mean, some of these shops I do also buy kits from, but a lot of these shops I just have so many icons and functional stickers from. So anyways, I do have Magic Prints Co. here, and I also have Planning World here. And I have, as you can see here, I'm holding up the Planning World freebie. I've started to try and put freebies that from shops that have categories in my storage unit with the shop category, just because I'm finding that I'm seeing them more and I'm starting to use them a lot more because I otherwise I just sort of miss them and I forget about them. So I keep freebies that I really, really love. Otherwise, I try to give them away or I try to, or I just toss them out, to be quite honest. If I'm trying to give them away and no one wants them, then I just try to toss them out. But I definitely keep some of my favorites and ones that I know I will use, like the Planning World ones, like Rose Colored Days has some beautiful ones, My Newest Addiction, I keep a lot of Paper Blush Bar, all of those, so yeah. Here I have my newest addiction and I also have paper blush bar on the right hand side and I just have you know everything that I own from their shops kind of in here except for kits of course as I mentioned kits are in a separate space. And then the last drawer are two foiled shops so I've got some stickers here from Simply Watercolor Co on the right hand side you can see a little flip through and then I have rose color days here. So that's the first unit and then let's go ahead and get into the second drawer unit. So in this one here, we're going to start out at the top again. The top section, I have a lot of Fox and Pip stickers. Her original format were had bigger size sheets and they don't really fit the way the, her newer format fits. So I've sort of just piled these all into one drawer. I have enough of them to fit the whole you know, the whole drawer, so it totally works out fine, and I just keep them all together there. And then the next drawer here is sort of a continuation. I love Amanda Shop, so I have a, still a whole nother pile of her stickers here. This is all of her newer format, so they're more quarter sheet size. You can see I have a whole stack there on the left-hand side. This drawer I've titled Doodles, so I do have a huge stack of Fox and Pip there. I've got her freebies mixed in with her character stickers, and then on the, gosh, I have so many of her stickers. I just adore her shop to pieces. I've been shopping with her for ages, it feels like. So that's that section there. And then on the right-hand side, I just have a lot of doodle and character stickers from miscellaneous shops. So not miscellaneous shop, but just shops that I don't have that many from. Amanda's shop is definitely the shop that I have the most character stickers from. And then on the right hand side is more just kind of like hand drawn. There are some characters, but they're more like doodle type stickers and you know, things that I have from various shops. The ones on top there that are foiled, those little um, like emoji type faces are from Heidi Swap that I got from the Cobby Lobby. Then this next drawer here, I've got categories now. So this is bows and planners. And then on the right hand side, I have like YouTube tech and mail. So this little section here that I'm picking up is mostly stuff that I use for an all work related things. So going to the post office, uh, laptops, cameras, YouTube type stuff, Etsy type things, you know, happy mail type things, all of that kind of goes in that section. And then over here, I've got bows and planners and kind of more, I don't know, I call them like cutesy things. So those top ones are actually from Planning World. You'll notice that there's some shops that even though they have their sections, some things are in different sections. 
it might not make sense to any everybody, but that's just how you know my brain categorizes things. So that's kind of how I've organized them. And you know, I know when I'm looking for certain things where I'm going to go to look for them. So that's kind of how I've organized it. But yeah, I've got lots of little you know bow clips and planners and and things like that from various shops kind of mixed into that little section there. And then in the next drawer here. We've got two more sections. So I've got travel here and then I've got health and beauty on the other side. So in travel, I've got some flight trackers some packing stickers, globes, you know, airplanes and ticket type things. And on the left hand side, I do, uh, by the way, I do, like I mentioned, I do cut down some sheets. So if I don't mind cutting down the sheet, I will cut it in half. But there's certain ones like the ones I had in the other drawer that I just don't want to cut in half. <laughs> So here I have lots of beauty type stickers. I put date night stickers in there because I don't know where else to put them. But I have lots of beauty in here. I have some medical type things, some fitness type things. So I kind of just labeled it health, um, yeah, health and beauty. So I've got a mixture of all that kind of in there. And then in the last drawer, I have my last two little categories, at least for this type or for this little drawer set. And over here I have food and beverage, mostly coffee stickers. I think of them as tea stickers, but coffee stickers and mugs and stuff like that. And then over here I have birthdays and celebrations. So I've got some balloons, you know, birthday type icons, presents and all that jazz. So in the third set of drawers, which is the last set of sticker drawers, at the top here I have a section for Crafts by Towie. I have quite a few of her Addy stickers and some of her more decorative sticker sheets like this one and some, you know, just miscellaneous type things. So I keep all of those together because again, I just, I know her shop and so I feel like when I need a, one of her stickers, I know to go to that category for it. So I've got that in the top section and then the rest of this is pretty much functional type stickers. So I have in here headers, so, or sorry, date covers. So I've got lots of Simply Watercolor Co. and I've got all of my date numbers in there. This drawer is always kind of a mess. I just kind of, you know, it's kind of, it's throw and go like the rest of this is. So that's what I've got all in there. Look at me trying to pretend like it looks neater than it is. <laughs> And then in the next category, we've got some more functional stickers. So I've got here some checklist. I cut a lot of these down so that they fit in this little section, but I've got a lot of foil checklists there. And then on the right hand side, I've got a lot of headers and I've got a lot of foiled headers and I've got some old headers from like older kits or multicolor and things like that that I just kind of keep in here. I've got some glitter headers in here as well and they kind of all just live in this little section. So in this next drawer I have another two categories. On the right hand side I have labels and quarter boxes that I just have purchased from you know various shops so I keep all of those there and then on the left hand side I have uh, countdown stickers. So most of those are rose colored days. The one in the back there is from Clever Isle Crafts. I've used half the sheet and I can't, I just can't bear to throw it away because it's so pretty. That was an old Christmas countdown that I think is so cute. And then the last drawer is miscellaneous. It's a little bit random. I have an actual category called miscellaneous on the right hand side and that just has a lot of script type stickers and I mean, not even a lot. I just have maybe five sheets in there and I don't really know where else to put them. So they kind of just landed up here. And I don't know, that might change, but we'll see. And then on the left-hand side there, I have a ton of freebies and then some more kind of random stickers that I didn't know what else to do with. But most of those are freebies except for really the stickers that are on the top. All right, so we're going to move on to the tabletop surface. In the corner there, I've got a letter organizer. It's the same one you saw inside of the cabinet on, in the beginning. And I just keep kits and things that I need to haul in there. It just helps keep me organized every time I get some Happy Mail or, you know, I just kind of toss it in there. And then here I've got these little trays that are from the container store as well. And I keep, this kind of changes, but right now I have it with some future TN setups. So I've kind of been, it's almost like a mood board inside there, but I've been collecting all the things that I want to use in those setups like clips and, you know, 
papers and, and various things. So I've kind of got them visually laid out there, but still kind of put away so that it's not a huge mess. And I can keep collecting things because that's sort of how I set up my, my TNs. I really like that system. Then here I've got my mink, and then next to it I do have my silhouette portrait. So going back over to the first part of the unit, I'm going to open the drawer here. I've got some supplies in here, and I also store my washi in here. So on the left-hand side I've got like scissors, whiteout, rulers, corner rounders, tape, extra blades for my paper trimmer, all that jazz kind of lives there. And then on the right hand side, I do store all of my washi. And as you can see, there's some that goes all the way along the back side. These are sitting on top of spice racks. And I love this idea. I got it from Talia. I'll link her Instagram below. She has a nail channel and she used to do planning videos as well. So she, she gave me this idea and I think it's amazing because they don't roll around all over your storage. And I just love it. As you can see here, I'm wiggling my drawer and they are staying put. It's amazing and I just like having them in a drawer so they're put away because I love looking at them but I just don't like them out. So this next drawer is fairly simple and I just have my paper trimmer on the left side here and then on the right hand side I do have a lot of rolls of foil for my mink and then below that I do have a stack of scrap of paper that I just kind of toss in there and have been collecting over time. So. That's pretty much it. That, that covers my whole you know, storage and craft organization. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope some of you got some ideas. And if not, you know, I hope you just enjoyed watching it and seeing how, you know, how I store everything and, and what my collection looks like. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.